everyone. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love. Thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some fabulous vegan Easter eggs that are amazing. They are delicious and they're going to help you have a fabulous Easter if that's what you celebrate or if you just want to have something that is so delicious, then oh my gosh, I have got you covered. Now today, I'm going to show you how to make different flavored Easter eggs. My favorite by far is honeycomb and it is so easy to make. When I first saw the recipe, I was like, is that all the ingredients are? And I gave it a go and literally it worked my first go. So you guys are gonna have a fabulous time doing it. Please let me know if you recreate this recipe. You can tag me on Instagram and I would love to share your picture. I hope you enjoyed today's little tutorial and have an amazing Easter. All right, my loves, I'm so excited to announce that we have three different flavors that we're going to be putting inside these incredible vegan Easter eggs today. The recipes are so simple. The first flavor is going to be honeycomb, then peanut butter caramel, and then a berry mixed jam. Now this one, oh my gosh, completely shocked me. It's so easy. It just requires 100 grams of sugar, four tablespoons of golden syrup. Just pop it onto a medium heat on the stove top. Wait for golden bubbles to form, then take one and a half teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda, quickly whisk up through, then just take it off the stove top and pour it onto a tray and allow it to cool. Then you can just break it up into chunk sized pieces or if you want to keep them for the Easter egg recipe, I highly advise that you crush them up in a bag. And next flavor is our berry jam. This is literally two ingredients. We've got a bag of defrosted mixed berries pop them in the blender. Once it's finished, I then take it out and add two and a half tablespoons of chia seeds and then just mix it together. Look at that, incredible. Pop a lid on it and put it in the fridge for the chia to expand. Now, peanut butter caramel is our third flavor. You literally take 150 grams of pitted dates, one tablespoon of peanut butter and half a cup of water and then you just blend into a smooth. Look at that chocolate Easter egg. So the first thing that you will need is one block of dark chocolate. Please check the ingredients to ensure that it is vegan or check on their website. Now I have some dark chocolate from Whitaker's and I've just broken it up. I put it on a double boiler and we've now got melted chocolate. I then take one of these wonderful silicon molds, which you can pick up from a local craft store, and I've just spooned in two teaspoons of the dark chocolate mixture, ensuring that it gets to the sides and there is no holes in it. And then once that's done, we're just gonna flip it over and shake off all the excess chocolate because we don't want it to be too thick and we want it to be even across. Then put in all your different flavors. The honeycomb is going to stick perfectly. The jam and the caramel is going to be a little bit difficult to put in, but that's okay. Then we're going to put it into the fridge upside down so it can become hard. Then take it out and then I want you to mix around the caramel and the berry jam because it's a lot easier to work with right now. Pop out the chocolate from the molds. Then we're going to preheat the oven and just put a baking tray in because we're going to melt half of the chocolate, which is going to help glue both of the halves of the Easter egg together. Well, my loves, check out these gorgeous vegan Easter eggs, which are cruelty free, dairy free, and they are absolutely delicious. They are a bit of a special treat. This is something that you wouldn't be having every day, but just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices, and I will see you next episode.